open the door a little bit, peek my head out, like trying not to get my nipples poking through the door. And uh, and he was like, um, just had a few noise complaints. Yeah, um, but that's when everyone scattered. Yeah. I mean, everyone was like, oh shit, it's a security. And then everyone ran. There was like four people in a big bath. Four people jumped in the bath. There was a guy trying to hide, hide under the coffee, coffee table. table when he's like six foot three. <laughs> there, was a guy, there was a guy. But, it, but everyone's like swiping, yeah, all, trying to hide all the, the toys. toys. There was a guy that was, um, you know, me, me and the guy was like, in our boxes next to each other, we're trying to hide behind the curtain. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> other people ran into the other room. Like, it was hilarious. But Hi, everyone. Is. Welcome back to the 21st Century Sex Podcast. Today, we're going to be speaking about our secret hotel sex party. Before we jump into anything, I just wanted to say thank you for all the support, all the subscribers, the likes, everything. It's been overwhelming and it's gone, it's, it's been noticed. I just wanted to thank everybody for, for everything. Thank you so much. So, babe, why did we um want to do our own sick party in a hotel? Um, well, we'd been to a private previously, and it was amazing. It was a really, really good private, our first ever. Mm, your first experience with a, a yes, woman. Yes, it was, and yeah, w- women, it, it sorry, was women. really good. It was the hosts were amazing. Um, it was a lot smaller. There was only six of us. Um, and we just kind of wanted to relive that and mm. make it a little bit bigger. And we've got quite a few um, people that we, we party with often that, you know, we just wanted to get everybody together. And we know everyone vibes together really yeah. well. So it was getting our group together and just doing it. And it wasn't it wasn't supposed to be in a hotel. It was supposed to be... Yeah, well, it was supposed to be in... Um, we've got a we. We found something on, in, in, on the internet. Um, I think it was Gumtree and... No, it wasn't. It was TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor. And it was like... Gum- Gumtree. <laughs> yes. I don't know, why did I say Gumtree? <laughs> oh, man. But um, but it was TripAdvisor. And yeah, it was weird that the, the no, surface I, I, of it... No, no, no. I found them on Airbnb and then they, they diverted me yes. to TripAdvisor. So we went to book it. Put in all my card details and then realised it was a scam. Had to cancel all my cards. And Told everyone that we haven't got a venue now. And it was yeah. like it was like two weeks before, wasn't it? It was like two yeah, weeks. It was we was like that. looking for like a month, six weeks. Found a sick where it had a ho- it, it had a swimming pool. Yeah. Had six bedrooms. It was a massive mansion. And like, it was a good price. We should have known it was a scam. Oh <laughs> mate, honestly, when I saw that, it was what it was the was price? Weird. It was like eight hundred. Quid? No, it was more than that. It was about twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. But was. everywhere else we saw, that but it was, was like a five bedroom, wasn't it, with the swimming it pool? Was six bedrooms. So it was big with the swimming pool. Yeah, and so. we probably invited about twenty, twenty-two people, something like that. Um, and then we told everyone that like, guys, we haven't got a venue, but we're trying. Yeah. Um, and then we had a, we had a party for KK yeah. Mansion Party, which was amazing, by the way. Mm. Um, and we. Had a hotel booked back in September. Yeah. And we stayed at this amazing hotel um, in Hyde Park. And uh, we said then this would be sick for a private. Yeah, because we got the suite. junior suite, yeah, we didn't suite, we? Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then, so we were looking for different hotels, different other venues. And then boom, we found, we was like, why don't we just go back to the one that we were going to do? Yeah, anyway? well, I think what we figured out we could do <clears throat> was ha- like have the, the, the suite. suite and two interconnecting rooms, yeah. so there would be three rooms essentially. Yeah, three yeah, yeah, rooms, yeah. enough room for everybody, um, which was amazing. And we contacted the hotel directly and made sure that those rooms would be interconnecting, mm. um, and we'd be able to go from each room, um, all sorted, absolutely fine. Told everyone this is the address. We're everyone ready to on go. It. So a few people drop out, mm. which you do when you host your own party. Um, but yeah, it was. Uh, how did we even find those people though? Like it was, it wasn't. It wasn't easy because no, we met a lot of people uh, through the KK app. Killing which kittens, is, yeah, yeah, which is brilliant because it's it's a really good way to connect with people and network and kind of yeah. just get to know different couples and singles. Um, so a lot of them, I think all of them were through there actually. Yeah, if, they were. If, I think they were. All, they were all yeah. from killing from kittens Kin-Kin. to killing kittens dating yeah. app. Yeah, so. Um, it was easier though to to find couples, yeah. And I think the singles were the sing- single girls because we invited uh, single girls and 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 number of couples, 
And but that's why single girls are called unicorns because they're mythical and they're very hard yeah, to find. Yeah, that is actually very true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, and you know, I obviously I haven't been a single girl in the scene, but I can imagine the going to meet a load of people that you've never met before can be quite nerve wracking. So oh. we did have people drop out last minute. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. is understandable. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't know if I could do it on my own. I so. know, but we, we so we were scrolling through the app. We was talking to people that we already kind of knew anyway. Yeah. And was like, this is the, this is the date, this is, this is the venue. Are you on it? Everyone was. Um, we only met a couple of them beforehand and yeah. speaking to most of them. So we're thinking that people going to drop out last minute, which people did, but we had understandable. I think we had about three or four dropouts. Dropout, it? single yeah. girl dropouts. How did you get the single girls? Say again? How did you get the single girls? Again, it was through KK. KK uh, it was yeah. girls DM them. that we'd been, DM, yeah, we would, we'd the been chatting to mm. them before. And then, yeah, and just mentioned, like, you know, we're going to host our own party. And and they was, they was up for it. And I think yeah. we, 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 we try to come across, especially to singles, like ourselves, bantery, kind of flirty, not too, like, intense. So we was already talking to these people beforehand. I think yeah. you, I, I let you talk to the single girls. Mm. I don't really talk and, to them in, in that sense at that stage because I don't want them to think like you've been a bit of a creep or whatever <laughs> you know what I mean yeah, like, it so looks like it's all being controlled by you that way and I it think. is controlled by you in, in the sense of like <coughs> you know I like that girl da, 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 da. yeah so um so yeah and then it got to the night and we all said to everybody prep though don't forget the prep mm, yeah we, the prep we prep did was crazy yeah what did you do to the prep what was the list give us a the list, list. <laughs> The toys, the lingerie, the we we uh like bulk bought condoms, yep. lube, uh and like sanitary wipes, sanitary wipes for like all the toys and um whatever, vagina wipes, yeah, <laughs> vagina wipes that for just the women. everything like there was mm. we made we wanted to make sure that there, nobody had to bring anything like it, don't you was invited to but yeah. we obviously supplied the alcohol we said to everyone bring something that you like yeah if you want to so we supplied the alcohol one of our friends one of our good friends um lent us their dildo machine yeah the uh the fuck machine it's like it's connected <laughs> onto a machine and it's just you, you girls will have a, you girls had a lot of fun with it so yeah it was, was that fun. was good but we had toys everywhere but yeah we, we had made sure there was enough toys people bought their own um, so the prep was a bit. We we went through London with what three, four suitcases. I think it was three. Through central was London. Three. Central London. And we was like, imagine if like we if drop we drop the suitcase <laughs> and all the dildos just fall out of the fucking floor, <laughs> and it was like in the middle of London, it was like <laughs> let me just put this back. <laughs> <laughs> These aren't mine. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. They're my wife. So, but yeah. you made me like. That hold that suitcase. It was heavy. It like. was heavy. It had the alcohol in with it as well. Oh, you you had to hold that. Yeah. But yeah, so So fast forward to getting there. We and we're guys, we're always, always late for everything. Like yeah, I can attest knows. they're yeah. always late. Yeah. yeah. Always I don't late. know what you're talking Everyone about. Everyone knows we're always late. <laughs> yeah, always late. Um so we you're actually, still doing your hair when I'm putting my shoes on, so I don't know what you're talking about. Bad. Listen, you, you just takes us 10 seconds to do our hair. Uh, so we wait until you're ready. No. I've got curly hair in it, so I'm mixed race. So I, my hair goes that way, that way. It's like just one bit straight, one bit curly. It doesn't know what it's no doing. There's no need for it. There's no need for it. But we actually got there. <laughs> we got there like we got well early, like half an hour early Yeah. before checking. Yeah. Walked in and, oh my God. <laughs> so we went to check in and... They checked us in and then they said, what rooms that you've got? What did they try and give us? They tried to give us the suite. No, but, but our rooms were booked. They were just booked on different floors. Yeah, they, they <laughs> tried to give us all these rooms on all different floors, even though in the email that she showed me on the screen and I showed her in my email, we'd requested that they're all interlock in mm. interconnecting mm -hmm. and we'll be able to move freely in between all of the rooms. And we get there and they're all booked on different floors. And guess what? They're fully booked. So oh, man. it was... It was a Saturday and it was like... Where are we going? Like, we've got everybody turning up in like, what, probably about four or five hours we had from them, probably we a little a couple, bit less. We had a couple other people, like people that we knew, bef that we met before, that were coming a bit early. They, they'd booked their was separate gonna help rooms. Us, yeah, gonna help us set up. So they was going to check into their separate rooms and then we was all going to help set up together before everyone got there. But that, that woman, she was rude though. The receptionist, the manager, she was like, she said to us, well, 
it shouldn't have happened. And I don't think it did happen. And we was like, and, hey. the, and, and oh my God. <laughs> the, the, the joke is the email that I received back from the hotel so was signed off by, was signed a, off by, by a certain employee. And that employee was, was the checking one us checking in. us in. <laughs> and she's there trying to tell us that, that, that nobody would have ever said that. And I said, but he's standing he, he's right, right there. there. And she was like, no, 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 no. So, yeah, like it was, we was there for probably about two hours trying to sort out the rooms, and the, going to look at different rooms. And then some of the couples started turning up. Yeah. And they was like, what's up? We was like, guys, <laughs> take a fucked. seat. <laughs> it's fucked. It like, it, it, we're, we're done. Just, just go home. If you if I had a black hole that I could jump down, I yeah, would do that it. Was, because you didn't want to count I anyone. hadn't even I knew I wanted to have a shower, I needed to do my hair, my makeup, set up the room. So, you know, they were showing us to different rooms, different suites. This is what you can have, this is what you can have. And there was like, because we had like a really big, like it was a presidential suite, I think it was. Something it? like that. And it was like connect, connecting, interconnecting to the different rooms. And then she was trying to give us one suite on one one room. On one floor, and then no, two no, no. What on one side of the corridor, yeah. and then giving us the room opposite. opposite. So we was like, "What are we gonna do? Get like sheets so the girls can run through Just in their run. underwear." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that. So was that was a no. In the but end, we were gonna do that though, and then we yeah, were so we two hours gone, and then we're like we're pulling out our hair, we're at the bar, we're like, "Oh my days, this, this is a flop." Everyone's gonna think we're just shit hosts, and then you and our friend. Went over there and sh and you got basically went. Is there anything? And the lady was like, "Well, I've got one more solution. I've got one suite available with what, an one internet connect in, connecting door. room. I'm going to upgrade them to your suite, which doesn't have interconnecting room, and obviously you'll be down." So we swapped suites with them, and we had one interconnecting room rather than two. Mm -hmm. And then we, had we went and had a look. It was a suite that we'd stayed in previously, which we knew was big yeah, and, big and, and nice, lovely. Yeah. Um, and the interconnecting room was just a standard room, but you know, it had a bed, yeah, it had yeah, an extra yeah. toilet and whatever in it. That's mm. all that was needed. So, yeah, we took that. So, it was literally everyone run up to the room. Ah, we had an hour for we we had, everyone else started yeah. turning up. And we hadn't set the rooms up, <sighs> and like, you know, girls take a hell of a lot longer than an hour to get ready, especially mm. for a play party. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. It was, prep was mad. Everyone ran up to the room. Everyone helped to sit up. We yeah. literally unboxed all the condoms. We just fried them on the table. Fried them on, the, on, the, on yeah, the different tables. There was and toys in all different rooms. And like, oh, yeah, got it was all crazy. the alcohol set up. And then we use all got ready. Yeah, because the guys. two of the singles turned up about 15 minutes early. Yeah. And then me and two of the guys who were staying. These were there, already ready. They, we was already ready. And then we was like, oh, we've got to go down and say hello. Like, I'm. We're Obviously still doing us, our makeup. As guys and <laughs> couples, we didn't really want to. We didn't no. really want to like just greet these two yeah. singles that have never met us. I before. felt terrible, but, but I hadn't even done we, my makeup. But we we was quite welcoming, so yeah. we came downstairs and we just we said to them like the girls are just getting ready. You know how they are, blah 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 blah. blah, blah. And then um, people started trickling in, and the girl you lot we came you, down. You girls came down, and by the end of it, there was like 16, 17, 17 of us. We called off a. A um, section, of, section the of the bar, and we're all just drinking. And obviously, when you host either intimate parties like privates or bigger parties, socials are good to, for everyone to kind of break mm -hmm. the ice and get to know each other properly on a face to face yep. level and make so, sure that everybody's yeah. on the same vibe and everybody consents to what will happen next. Yeah, yeah, because 100%. you know, sometimes you can go and meet people in the bar and they go, Do you know what? Actually, it's not for me. And yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah. cool. That was nice meeting you, whatever. So and most people like that in, yeah. in the lifestyle, they don't judge you. If you're not feeling it, you don't have no. to play. You don't have to do <laughs> anything you don't want you're to. You're okay so to leave. No yeah, one's like, holding you hostage. If you think I'm ugly, I'm ugly. No, no, I'm joking. But obviously it's like one well, of those ones yeah. where you don't have to. No one's forcing, no. forcing no, 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 no. it. But everyone was ready was to party. <laughs> yeah. was drinking. Everyone was having a good time. Some people turned up a bit late, but then they kind of just got involved. Yeah. And then obviously being at, being at a hotel... 17 of us or 16 <laughs> of us like we had to we trickle up we to had the to room threes and fours like rather than all just getting up and going up to the room the other couples that were staying there was on the same level which yes. was good as well so yeah. were, everyone had their own key so then i'm the last one with like about four people four or five people um and i'm like come and go upstairs now um and then they was like yeah cool go upstairs everyone's in the suite now drinking um Put music on, everyone's vibing. We had someone who was there who was a DJ, so he put his set. Yeah. Like, it wasn't <coughs> pumping. It wasn't loud. But it was there in it the was background. It was a good mix. Yeah, <laughs> and it was like, there was drink everywhere. 
And then um, the boys, all the boys went into the next room so the girls can get changed. Yeah, we all got changed, yeah. So that Yeah, you all went into the other room and we stayed in the suite and we all got changed into our lingerie. Obviously, what we made the, sure What did the guys was. talk about in the room? So that, it was good. It, it was what did we talk about? No, the guys. guys. No, we'll ask, we'll, we'll, we'll go after. to the girls afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Um, the boys, so it was really good because um, we kind of set our boundaries to the boys and like what guys wanted and what guys mm. didn't want. Um, and obviously respectful of their missus, like we didn't touch any of them or mm. if they if we was allowed, we was allowed. Um, so that went around the room and we was kind of bantering in the room and the boys were just, they were just such a good laugh. And man. then good asking fun. us if we were ready. And he was like, are you ready yet? You ready? And I you could not get my, oh, I, yeah, c- yeah. I couldn't get, what did, I can't it's remember what I was wearing. Yeah, the fishnet some... bodysuit with like leather. Yeah. And I couldn't get my Oof, foot in a fishnet. It took, nice. It took a long time to get into that. I had about three of the girls helping me. What did the girls talk about? I've, actually never, I've never asked you that. In all honesty, I was so concentrating on getting myself into this outfit. Oh, right. I just couldn't... I, I don't know what they were talking about. I was in the corner, like, hobbling on one leg, trying to get this thing on. Um, I just remember the But, call. yeah, I think everyone was just getting it. It was that, like, you get that little bit of nerves, nerves don't you? Yeah, so we was nerves. all like, oh, you know. Everyone gets it for, for part, small parties or big mm. parties. You get that little nerves. So if you've ever done sports before, upcoming event, upcoming match, or whatever it may be, like you get that bit of yeah. butterfly nerve feeling. And even with a date, I mm-hmm. guess, like you get like a bit nervous, isn't it? So, so then, yeah, then we was like, we're ready and all the, all the guys came in. And I think we decided to play a game. Was that when we played like an icebreaker game? Yeah, so we had like... You're uh, missing the part before this, which you guys told me about, because before all the girls and guys got upstairs... You had to get a member of the hotel staff to unlock the other room. <laughs> but the problem with that is you had already thrown all the toys and dildos and sex machines. Yes. Yeah. Was all over the room. And this guy walked in. With the key. With the key to unlock it. Was it, it. a lady? Was it a lady? No. I, there was a guy. Was a guy. But he didn't even look, did he? He just went. I think he, he saw and he was like, I'm just not going to look. I'm going <laughs> to act like I didn't see any of this. I'm just going to keep walking. <laughs> and he went and he unlocked the yeah, door yeah, and just yeah, walked yeah, back yeah, out. Yeah. And then we was all like slowly like, like sliding. Fi- it was well too late. I don't yeah. even know why we tried to hide anything at this point. That was jokes. Um, so that was yeah. That was really jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so he already knew he'd already Definitely seen it he's knew. probably gone downstairs like, to his colleagues and been like <laughs> yeah. you don't even want to go up there <laughs> and uh, then yeah and then we decided we'll play like an icebreaker gra- game um and it was like a card game of like I dares, can't, that dares, isn't yeah it? i think someone had to do like a lap dance with someone else's partner someone had to kiss another partner someone had to like rub baby oil over someone's bum like it was it was really funny and yeah. it was really good like so but at this point and now we're all had a few to drink we're getting a little bit louder and there's no but before that we, <coughs> we went around the room a little bit and so spoke about people's boundaries yes we me? did we did um so everyone, sure went everyone, through their boundaries. everyone was comfortable because there wasn't a massive crowd yeah. we could do that without making it go oh meh um, but yeah, then after that, and then yeah, we're just getting louder and louder, and, we're and just now getting started. we're just we're all in the middle of playing this game, and all you hear is knock, knock, knock on the door. Oh my god! And I remember I looking through the spy hole, and it was blurry. You couldn't, I couldn't see through the spy hole, so it I'm was thinking, two who is this? Guys, isn't it? But and I'm in my outfit. I'm, no, but I'm pretty much. I've got my nipples out. <laughs> And then, so I had to open the door, and I was like, "Hello." No, but I remember you saying before, you like, guys. This is scary God. No, but I couldn't see who it was. So everyone had oh. like any, everyone had gone quiet just in case. So I've opened the door a little bit, peeked my head out, like trying not to get my nipples poking through the door. And uh, and he was like, um, just had a few noise complaints. Yeah, um, but that's when everyone scattered. Yeah. I mean, everyone was like, oh shit, it's a security. And then everyone <laughs> ran. There was like four people who had a big bath. Four people jumped in the bath. There was a guy trying to hide, hide under the coffee, coffee table, table when he's like six foot three. <laughs> there was a guy. There was a guy. But, it, but the, everyone's like swiping, yeah, all, trying to hide all the, the toys. toys. There was a guy that was um. You know, me, me and a guy was like in our boxes next to each other, we're trying to hide behind the curtain. Like, what were we doing? <laughs> other people ran into the other room. I, it was hilarious. But here, it, I don't know how we thought we were being so quiet because. This that was the first time it happened. I said, Oh, oh I do apologize. Um, I remember and he man. said to me, How many of you are in this room? And I said, Well, there's six of us, mm. and we're just having a drink because we had three interconnecting rooms, so we was entitled to have six of us in there. So yeah. I said, There's there's six of us in there, we're just having a drink. 
He said, he said, it sounds like there's a lot more. I was like, sorry, I'll tell them to be quiet. That was that, shut the door. So everyone come back out of their hiding spaces from like, like <laughs> ten, 10 people out of the bath. Oh, like. <laughs> honestly, the bath situation, I was like, how are you even got in there? I just there? remember turning around and seeing people climbing out the bath thinking, who the fuck <laughs> decides to hide in the bath? Like, come on. Uh, <laughs> and then we carried on playing. We got louder. Knock, knock, knock on the door no, again. No, 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 no. That was later. That was later. He, he came around later. So by this point, we were drinking and then the girl was wanting to take a picture in the other room. No, we were still in this room at this point. Was it? That was the third time. Oh, the second time, we no. were still playing the game. And okay. again, the same thing. Everyone's going, shh, shh, yeah, like shh. running, running. And all we can hear is bare footsteps on the floor, running and hiding. He knew, man. They both he, knew. They heard everything. They and, both it, knew. and so I opened the door again and I was like, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello. <laughs> Hello, can I help? <laughs> and he was like, right. <laughs> um, guys, like, I can hear you from out here. We've st we've been standing out here the whole time and we heard you. Oh, mate. Look, we heard everyone go quiet. We've heard you all trying to hide and be quiet. Like, we've heard everything. We yeah. haven't moved from here. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, really do apologise. Everyone's just being so loud. I think they've had a few too many to drink. Like, I'll, I'll tell everyone to be quiet. And he was like, you know, you're going to have to keep it down because... You'll end up getting kicked out of the, the hotel. Ooh. So I'm thinking, right, well, I've yeah. got like, a lot of people in there, we can't afford that. I remember that actually, because then we was like, come, let's go into the other room. Yes, and the girls, that was it. And the girls wanted to take like a, a group photo of all in their yeah. underwear, like an over and stuff. Um, asked everyone. There's some really good photos, by the way. Really good photos, like bang <laughs> photos. Um, but then they, we obviously asked everyone consent. Some of the girls didn't want to get in it, mm -hmm. um, but the majority of them did. And then all these girls on this. Super king size bed. How many? 16 mm. or 17 girls? No, 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 no. There were 16 of us. There was about, I think there was about nine girls on the bed at that point. Yeah. Um, and then all the guys are like taking the photos. Obviously, we've been like the photographers kind of thing. Like, the angle and that. Yeah. Was, you see guys like in their boxes just like yeah. doing that <laughs> and just in, on the floor. It was like really, really good. Um, and then and got some amazing photos. And then all of a sudden... It was just it kicks off. booting off it kicks on off. the bed, like the, all, Basi all the girls. All but the girls. basically, the party that we hosted was for my birthday. Yeah, yeah. It was at my birthday and, weekend. And the, we had a separate group chat. So we had a group chat to start off with before the party to get everyone to get to know each other. Yeah. And you had a separate girls group chat, didn't you? Yeah. And then the girls said they want a girl orgy. Yeah, all, all girl orgy. No guys at that point. So then... It's, all the boys are just looking at each other like, oh it just my kicked off. God. I just remember like being in the middle of like three or four girls and they're kissing me and they're grabbing my boobs and uh, there was hands everywhere. everywhere. And I was like, everyone was like, right, it's the birthday girl's turn. And I was like, me and, um, me and the guy, okay. <laughs> me and the guy next to me, we was like, this is actually happening. Like, this is mad. It's just, it looked like something off of, off of a porno. It was crazy. But better. Oh, it was holy, better. It was in real life. It was, of course it was better. Um, and I remember it just like for about five, ten minutes, it was just all the mm. girls. And then out of nowhere, you just come and grabbed me. And I was mm. like, yep, good to go. <laughs> yeah. Like, so. And it, that's when everybody sort of started sort of. We was all still on the same bed, but everyone was getting their partner involved. Yeah, and, and there was more people on and the then bed. And some of the singles were playing with some couples. And, and then people had, some people had gone into the other room, into the main yeah, suite. Yeah, yeah. Because there obviously there was a massive like queen size bed in yeah. there some people were, were in there some people weren't ready to play and no, some people were still drinking watching, just drinking just watching yeah like, yeah um i think it was it was some of the girls some of the single girls that were just watching it, yeah and then um one or two of them and some but then they just got involved and i just remember like you giving me a head and then one of the girls from the couples mm -hmm. brought a double dildo yeah that was and you two were talking about it in like oh, over WhatsApp and everything, like we want to do that. Da, da, da. And obviously, she she was hot, so it was, and she just pulled it out. She and was pulled like, it out of nowhere. I was like, yeah, yeah, and I'm then ready. You two done that. You and then she was giving head to her partner, and then you was giving head to yeah, me. Yeah, we was both bent and over. And me, me and the guy was like, man, this is so good. <laughs> like, it was crazy. And then out of nowhere, a single girl just comes up to me and you, and she goes to she goes to CC, can I have a try? And you was like. Yep, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was nuts. And I was like, raw. And then I just remember, like, picking her up. And then it was so crowded on the bed. I picked her up and, and took her to the next room. Yeah. And then we started playing. And then me and her was like, hold on, where's Cece? 
And then you was ran back into the room. Well, I was kind of busy. You yeah, kind of left me while I was busy. I, I was having fun. And I always say, why? I, 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 want, I need to see that reenacted, 100%. It will happen. Um, and then um, me and her saying, where's Cece? And you ran back in and was like, Cece. And you was like, yes. And like, <laughs> get in here now. And then me and like, all three of us yeah. was just playing. It was just, it was nuts. It was insane. Because um, why did well, you... Well, so still about why, 10 people Why did there. you run back into the room though? To get what? Oh, I'd gone. I'd. I was going to find my strap on. I was. Like, I was ready for who? The girl. For the girl that we was doing using the double ended. We was. I was like, right. I'm gonna go and get my strap on. So I've run into the other room to get it, and them two were on the bed, and they was like, Cece, come join." And I was like, "Oh, uh, I'm doing something." Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay then. Okay then. So I just come and jumped on the bed, and then. I left her there. Well, she obviously wasn't on her own. Um, and then, so, and then, then some, another another single girl just appeared out of nowhere on the bed and she was playing with herself with a toy. Yeah. And then I remember like playing with you a lot and then she like kind of called me over and I said, said to Cece, yeah, and you was playing with the other single girl and you was like, crack on. Yeah. So I was cracking on with her. And then one of the girls from the couple came out of nowhere and just had this massive strap on. <laughs> and then I was like, Cece. Oh, to Cece, and you that's never happened to you. No, before. I was, I didn't even know she'd walked in at this point no, with this big old strap but on. We had I a conversation even, about it, we had this, spoken about and it, and I yeah. didn't, I wasn't really comfortable with it at first. I was like, basically, a strap on is basically like another man, like it's just it's still a dick, it might be a fake dick, but it's like you're getting fucked by a man. Da, 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 da. We had a conversation about it, and when we did in depth talk about it, I was like, do you know what, like it's it's not a man, let's do it. Like, and I, by the way, I don't judge anyone that full swaps and no, stuff like no, that. No. I think I take my hat off to you. Yes. If whatever makes but you each happy, to their own. Wh whatever yeah. makes you happy, fucking crack on. Yeah. But anyways, and she comes out of nowhere, I'm like, Cece, she comes and just bends you over, <laughs> fucks the shit out of you. Yeah. And I'm here with this other girl. I'm like, yo, this is happening. That is I just remember nuts. lying there after like, oh my God, did that just happen? Yeah. Like I was... I was dazed yeah. for, a, for a good like, couple of minutes. You were actually dazed. Like, you was on the bed like this. Like, yeah. Guys, I can't move. I, I, I can't was ready move. for a nap. I'm yeah. not going to lie. I was ready for a nap. Yeah, I just needed a nap. Yeah, of course it was. <laughs> oh, it was nuts. And then, but at this time, now people are coming in and out of the room. And I remember hearing a knock on the door not long after this is finished. Because mm. that, that was like round one, wasn't it? Yeah. And that was in the suite. Yeah. Um, and I remember hearing a knock on the door. I'm thinking, oh, my God. Like, we're going to get kicked out. Like, that's Everyone it. We're again done. Scatters. Everyone, I like, was like, Everyone, be quiet. There's a knock at the door. There's a knock at the door. I've gone there. I've looked through the spy hole. Can't see who it is. And then I've opened the door, and it's one of the guys from the couple. And he was like, You lot are ridiculous. <laughs> you really think that's quiet? He's like, I heard you all telling each other to be quiet and run off. He was like, But it's only me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was nuts. <laughs> but that was it for the complaints for the night yeah. that we didn't get. And I think I think that, that we was very close. I think yeah, we was yeah, like yeah, yeah. so close to being the, kicked out. The um after that that was round one. It that was a, that went on for like forty five minutes an hour, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and God then, knows what was going on in the other room. Yeah, like there yeah. was still like probably a, yeah, but no, a we, good but eight. We, but we went ten back people. into the other room to have yeah, a look, yeah. whatever. And then then when it died down, everyone started drinking, yeah. laughing, took like, a little break. Yeah, like everyone took a bit of break. There's ran to music. People, some people were dancing to music because obviously the suite was quite big. It yeah. had like a a lounge dining area we'd, we'd had a big space where people mm. could dance and stuff like that so people were and chatting. that was also where the um the fuck machine was yes 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 and i remember us all sitting there we were sort of having a little wind down and somebody was like oh i want i want to go with that and i was like all right then go on then on your knees i've got the control that was you innit? it was yeah. me um and so one of the girls that's it she's the on her knees yeah 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 she's on her knees and i've got the control and i was like i'm, I'm watching her face to make sure but like, you're watching you her right? husband as well and you're yeah, yeah, yeah. like <laughs> Higher, higher, <laughs> and she's just moaning and yeah. moaning, and and I'm I'm thinking this is. Mad. And then I think we had another one. Another one had a go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I yeah. obviously I I like, I like to be into control, so I'm there with. But a she was like, yeah, it was alright. And yeah. we was like, mate, that was and well she, high. And I'm looking at her to see if she can take more. And so I'm turning it up, and she's just like taking it like it was a walk in the park. She I was, was like, a, well done, girl. <laughs> mate, she was a soldier, boy. She was a soldier. So yeah, they, everyone had good fun on that. I didn't actually have a go. No, One you day. You, you wanted to, innit? One there's day, so I'll much going that. on. That's the thing. You get so caught overwhelmed. Up in the moment. You're caught up in the moment. Um, and then, obviously, round two kicked off. No, you kicked off round two. Well, I kind of initiated it. So we was all chilling in the, um, in the other <laughs> room talking. And some people some people were still playing in and out, by the way, like throughout the rounds with their couples or whoever. With whoever. Um, but then, like, 
like we sent a video into the group chat once with your with the dildo, obviously with your dildo. Oh, the big big the, one. The big thing. The big <laughs> the ten big inch thing. thing. Um, <laughs> and they was like, "How do you take it?" Da, 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 da. And, and you was like, "I don't know." Like I, I was scared of it at first. I was like, "I'm gonna get, gonna get, I'm gonna get it." Um, and then stuck it on the on the door. Or was yeah. we playing a game? We were playing a game. Of like, if we could get it to stick to the door, whoever gets it to stick to the door has to fuck it. Yeah, yeah, and it was you. And it was me. I, oh, I, was like, oh. I launched it at the door and it stuck and I was like, ah. Oh, so you had to be... Fantastic. You had to be put on the, on, on the chair. But bearing in mind, this is, this is the internet connecting door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so there's people in the room on the other side. Like, did someone try to come in though? Yeah, somebody did try. One of the girls had to go in to say to her partner and say, don't come in because somebody's fucking the door on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Had to lube it up and that, and oh, then we yeah. bent over, and, and everyone was like, yeah, see, see. And then everyone and then, just joined in. And then everyone just kind of, just piled over again. Like, there was just more fucking... There was one girl that we was fucking... So by, after the dildo, you got on top of me. One girl just walked past, and she stopped, grabbed your grabbed your throat, and yeah. got the wand, didn't she? Yeah. And just stuck the wand on you, and you yeah. was just coming everywhere yeah, that was yeah. that was insane and that, that that same girl she also i remember i was riding you and she was in my ear she's whispering like dirty to me she's like go on fuck him and i was like instant it just worked that's it yeah, i come yeah. i was done no waterfalls <laughs> everywhere she's done great fun yeah like one of the best play partners oh, we've she, had she's, she's, she's really dominant party, women, yes, isn't it? Yeah, she, she is she was, she was but she was game for and anything. i find that i find i'm very submissive with you but when it comes to other girls i'm quite submissive uh, no i'm very submissive with you when it comes to other girls i i can be quite dominant you're a switch i think yeah girls. i'm a bit you of a switch with or, girls or dom but she yeah i had yeah, yeah. no chance with it'd, her it'd very, i was like whatever you want i'll do it <laughs> be very few women that can i think can dominate and probably even men by that chance yeah well. she's she's amazing and i remember one of the single girls who we got along we still get along to like to this day mm -hmm. um she was like she was playing a little bit but she was dipping in and out yeah. weren't she and then we were up on the bed we was fucking and then she can't come, come out and no no you was giving me head and then she came out and went nowhere and was like can I go down? I was like, crack on. And then um, she was doing that. And then I wanted to kind of like play with her while she was there as well. And I asked her, I was, yeah. I was like, is it okay? And, and she had a mouth and she went, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> mm -hmm. um, and uh, by the way, guys, obviously consent is everything. Yes. Right? So you have to ask people if it's okay for you to touch them, mm -hmm. to do anything to them. To join in, to even to consent. watch. If you're just going yeah, to sit and watch, watch it, like, you should ask. We had and that at Kenny King's party, didn't we? Even if you play with somebody at the beginning of the night... Doesn't mean... And then you go back to that same person to, at the end of the night. You can't just assume that they're still there to play mm. with you. You Ask again. Ask, ask. You know, is it cool if I come and join or, like, whatever? Yeah, we had that at Killing Kittens party when we was playing on the bed. And a guy, his missus went to go get a drink and he was like, guys, do you mind if I just watch? Like, and, was like, and he was cool. We yeah. spoke to him on the app before yeah. as well with his missus. And he was, was like, yeah. And he was mad respectful. Yeah, but don't right. get me wrong, you're going to get some... Idiots. Yeah, you do. In, it does happen. In, it does happen. It's, yeah. But it's few and far between, which yeah. is okay to manage. It, when it's few and far between, you don't mind. Most, I The majority of people are respectful. I think people don't want to get banned because you can get banned for yeah. that kind of stuff. And it's like intimate yes. things. Yes, yes. What would you, would you do again then? Oh, 100%. Yes, but the only thing is... What would you do differently next time? We want somewhere bigger. <laughs> Yeah. And somewhere that isn't a hotel. I do not want somebody knocking on the door anymore. Smaller, intimate one. Like a, yes. six, like a six, maybe eight, that's fine. But when it gets to like plus 10, you're just... I, don't, I would never want to host something like probably 30 plus. I think that's... We like our little intimate settings. Mm. Um, and we like to get to know everybody prior. And I think when you're talking like big, 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 ones, big, yeah, big yeah, 50 yeah, plus yeah. people, it's very hard for that. But like 30 people is good, yeah. but not in a hotel. Oh, you couldn't do it. Nothing. Not so, in a hotel again. That was We would definitely get kicked out of their underwear with all our, all our toys in our hands. <laughs> but trying to find somewhere oh, that so will allow you to have a party and there's they haven't or not allow you to have a party and they don't have CCTV everywhere and stuff like that. that it's that, that so was, hard that was to find a venue. That was the challenge we had with, yes. before the hotel we... Just couldn't find it. It's a, not easy. And if it was, it was so far out. Like, not everyone, most people were from the South East, so they wouldn't have travelled that far. Yeah. Um, what would you say is your favourite thing, then, of the whole experience? I'll let you go. First. The girl orgy, for sure. Like, that was, I want that all over again, 10 times, 20 times, all the time. 
hundred percent. I think <laughs> for me, it was probably the the girl orgy and seeing a double ended you doing a double ended dildo, which I still need to really re you need to reenact. It's it okay, we're Ruth. I want to watch it. No one, no one come near me. No. <laughs> No one come near me. <laughs> just sitting there like Yeah, this. yeah, literally like... Not talking to anyone, I'm <laughs> not looking at anyone, just just. I just want to see it, here. it was so hot, man, it was so hot. <laughs> we'll so reschedule, it's fine. All right, yeah. we're going to jump into the quick fire round now. Go for it. Round, First question, round, this is round. an intense one. Say again? This one's an intense one. Oh. Who's mm. going to agree now? Who gives the best head out of each of you? Yep. I'd say so, but I, only because. Oh my god! I don't. I don't how is that so unanimous? But uh, but hold on, oh wait. Shit. It's only because you are more giving and you do it more. Yeah, I was about to when say. When I yeah. do it and I get into it, I think my head's pretty goddamn good. Oh yeah, it is. It is. What 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 consists of good head though? Sloppy dabby. Yeah, it's got to be sloppy. It's got to be spit on it. Yeah, a bit of eye contact. Not too much. It can get a bit awkward, even yeah. though we're married. <laughs> yeah, no. You okay, Leonard? Yeah, I'm okay. okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and just, I think, just showing that you're enjoying it is Yeah, I the think main I thing. enjoy it, innit? So I, and I know you do as well, but I, like, I enjoy it. Like, every time we have sex. Yeah. Sure. Nine times out of ten, I'm down there. What? I want to make you come. What? what? <laughs> no, I'm saying. Always. Always. What can go, uh, or other way around then? What consists of good head on from your perspective? I think it's never easy from your me. perspective. What does Rio do that's good? Everything. I just he knows me. Like oh, we've, I'm a stroke on my head. We've, <laughs> 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 we've been doing this for years, so it's like I don't have to tell him. I don't no, have but, to guide but no, but him. He means that, okay, like so it's not, not every girl likes it the same. Does it's it? not. It's again. It's sloppy. It's. Fingers. Uh, yeah, I like fingers at the same time as well. I like to be multiple stimulated. Mm. Is that the way it's stim Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's, yeah. Fair enough. Next question. This is uh, for Cece. Do girls actually like being sent pictures? No. No. <laughs> it's, uh, especially when it's uh, just sent up from a random, like, I don't mean from a random, I mean just randomly throughout the day. It's just, you just get a message on your phone. You're like, oh, I was eating my lunch. Now yeah. I don't fancy my lunch. Thank you. Really? Is that, is, is that, is that what it's like here? Yeah? It can be. I mean, we're married. and So I think it depends. It's slightly different. Mm. With you, I'm kind of like, oh, well, I've seen that before and I'll have that later. <laughs> so I'm busy right now. <laughs> but I, it's, I, I think it's not as much of, of a turn on as it is when a girl sends a yeah. nude, I think, personally. Fair enough. Does size matter? No, to a certain extent. Yeah, you don't want it. No, you don't want it. You don't want a, a tiny thing. Yeah, and you also don't want something longer than my arm. Where <laughs> are you going with that? You can leave now. Come out your, come out your mouth. No. Oh. So yeah, I don't, I don't, to a certain extent, as long as you know what you're doing, I don't think. What would you say the perfect size would be? I think probably like the average is like six, six to seven. Is that average? I think that's average. I don't know. I don't know if statistics. Well, yeah, I'm bigger than six, six, so it's. I think too small and too big is like, you got you don't know how to use it. Yeah. Like so. Aver average size I think is a good I think size. Is, I think six is. Yeah, it's small fine. though, isn't it? No, it's fine. As long as you know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, what was what's your um, pre-party routine? Because <sighs> I know the girls. You have to go through a whole process before they go to a party. And do you know what? The main part of my process, what is the main part of my process? Yeah, hair. No. Makeup, makeup. No. Oh, waxing. No. Nails, no. No. When we're getting ready on the day, what do I need to do? Who? No. I mean, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> I don't know. Nap. Oh, Oof. I have to have a nap. Yeah, power because nap. Because I get so tired and I I think my anxiety, I start overthinking things. So I like to have a nap. But so, Jen, we like to get somewhere, if we stand at a hotel, get there, get unpack, so kind of get bits ready, have a little nap, even if it's just an hour. We But we're normally late, so we normally never get to squeeze in a nap and I'm grumpy for a little while. Yeah. And then And then it's, you know, have the nap, get up. Get showered, hair, yeah, makeup. You, you do whatever you're doing. Yeah, I feel like if you don't have a nap, you, yeah, you do get grumpy. You just that power nap, power. If hour, there's things hour that hour. need to be done, I will normally nap, and you'll do the things that need to be done, so mm. I can. Because grumpy, CC. 
Yeah, yeah I'm you don't, assuming yeah. second to that is your wax. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, wax. Yeah, obviously. I mean, that's done the day before. I'm all right. But you, I get nervous belly, don't I? Before, obviously, before, yeah. Before thingy, before party. Yeah, I think it's just like the nerves and the butterflies. So then you have, to have you tried uh, female Viagra? I haven't. I've tried. Who's we talking about? I've it, tried Viagra. I tried. Do you remember I tried your Viagra? And it just made my face go really, really hot. Mm. And I felt like my head was going to explode. Mm. But nothing else. I didn't feel extra horny. I didn't feel no tingles down there. Yeah, but I don't think it does with my that. My head with just that, literally, I think I was bright red. And my head felt like it was going to explode. So mm. I wouldn't recommend it. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> what about you, Ray? I used it at the parties. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think with guys, it's, it's, it's a bit of a taboo subject. But I feel like... We have to perform. If, if it ain't performing down there, you ain't getting nothing. Mm. Like, girls kind of, you can get them in the mood. Like, like Viagra's fly around. But also, you're having sex for hours. So. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. no, no. No guy, you're like, you're like done. Like It doesn't matter how young you are, how fit you are. It's, you know. Once that nut comes, you're like, <laughs> it's, my it, it's completely normal that you would need a little bit mm. of assistance, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's nothing wrong with it no. either. Like, and you, and, and the, the girls are so accepting. Like, we're, you have had an instance where you had a little bit of trouble to begin with, and then it was cool. It's fun, and it's like okay, cool. Let me yeah, help you with that. that. I remember that. I, that was our first private party, and I was like, "Yeah, I know. This is this is mad." And, it, I, and I popped on as well, and it wasn't. Yeah. It was all my head. It was all in your all head. All psychological, like it was all yeah. in my head, and I was like. I think that's normal from what we hear, though, isn't it? No, it's so it's normal. You it's could so have a Viagra and still be yep. nervous and it ain't happening. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Even outside of the lifestyle. You just got to stay out of your head. Yeah, just, yeah. do you know what? It, it is what it is. Let's have some fun. Stay out of your head. Mm. Because stay once you're your in head. there, you can Stay out of your out. head and get some head. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Stay out of your head, get some head. <laughs> right, we're going to make some T-shirts. All right, last question for you. Simple one. What was the music choice? And the party. Ugh, sexy. Anything mm. sexy. Well we're big music people. So, so. Now, the DJ came who was who was mm -hmm. part of the party. Um he came and he set up his thing and then he put a he put he's like, you know, a bit of a like party music, R and B hip hop, bashment, UK garage, funky, bit of like, bit of Ami piano, like you know, bit of house, just to get everyone in the mood. In the bedrooms we had separate speakers. We had separate, separate speakers, speakers, but it was like like uh Mellow R and B, sexy R and B. Mm. New, it was mostly new school R and B, mm. like about the sexy kind of vibe to get everyone in the, the mood. Dark, like, yeah, sexy, dark, and, dirty and vibe. And the rooms are dark, yeah. darker, weren't they? We made them darker. Yeah. So, but then you go back into like the lounge dining room. But bit. that was like one of our mate when we was doing the party. It was like, oh my god, we've got to get this playlist sorted mm. because we're such big music people. Oh, it's yeah, like yeah. The music needs to be on point because we have been to the few odd parties where the music's been a bit questionable, mm. and we're like, you know. It's not really for us, but mm. I think we done it. We smashed it with the music. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. So that's it for today. I think. I think yeah, we've I covered think pretty covered much. Covered a secret hotel sex party, which was <laughs> amazing. The people were. By the way, if you're gonna do a host hosting a party, all about the crowd. Yeah, the group yeah. was amazing. Yeah. Get yourself everyone a good come group out together. of it saying that was the best party they've ever had in their life. So yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that that's that's it for that's today. It. So everyone just, you know, like, like subscribe, subscribe, comment, um, everything. and we'll see you Support. on the next episode. Yeah, see you on episode Peace three. Out. Bye. Bye.